Hey guys, Link1652 here. Welcome to Resident Evil. Said that kind of funny. Uh, this is my first recording on the Xbox One. Um, first playing of Resident Evil on the Xbox One as well. Yes. I played this game when I was probably 10, 11 or 12. One of those. I got pretty far if I remember correct. But then my file got corrupted and I never finished it. And I'm hoping this is the HD edition. I mean, I don't know that they released a not HD edition. So we're just going to go with that. Let me try the options real quick. Right away, brightness. We're doing YouTube, so... How bright should it be? Oh, I want to see all those colors under the line. I'll bet you money. Eh... Or maybe I'm not supposed to see any under the line. We're going to leave it at 80, and if there's a problem, we'll come back. I think we should be good otherwise. Alright, guys, I'm excited. I'm so excited that I'm going to start my timer. This is a, a challenging recording setup I have here. So let's get into Resident this. Evil. Display. Uh, alternate. I like these settings. Alright. Oh, there's three options now. This is uh, easy, normal, or hard. I would guess. This is easy. This is normal. This is hard. Um... I did hard last time, just because I don't want to look like too much of a fool. Let's do normal. Gonna be Jill. Any other options? Nope. Jill starts with a couple different things than Chris. Um, one of those, I believe, is a lock picking set, which is very handy. And some medical training, I think. I don't recall. Ah, oh, I'm excited. It's uh, it's not really a dark night. It's definitely overcast, though. I mean, I got the blind shut. It's dark in the house. The Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into. Why not need that flashlight if he didn't have those sunglasses on?
this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Barry is a badass motherfucker. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. Definitely a higher resolution. I was kind of hoping they got rid of the typewriter, but. Yes. Alright, looks like I got a handgun with 15 bullets and my knife. And now three ink ribbons. So I played this on the GameCube, I'm guessing the alternate. I'm guessing the alternate um, controls just make this, well, I was going to say make it work with the one controller, but that's probably not the case. Oh, thank you. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Now, I played this first part several times just because I was, like, terrified and I had trouble, uh, getting past it. So let's, let's go take a look at what caused my nightmares as a child. Actually, I had a poster of this, and the poster scared the shit out of me. Now, I could let this zombie just chill. I think there's another one down there. Um, but he'll be here when I come back, so... These are what we get for camera angles, guys. That's how they used to do it. You didn't get to choose where you saw. Getting some aerobics. She'll shoot automatically, but if you, like, tell her to point up at the right time, you can get headshots. <sighs> Is he coming? I don't want to come forward. What did that do? Oh, my map. Pressing buttons. That was his face. Man, I shot him twice in the head. Get off me. Step away. Nope, he is not dead. Stab on his head. That's the best way to take care of zombies. Except now, how do I feel? 
Yeah, I'm not feeling too good. Um, I don't have many bullets left. Probably not the best way to start the game, honestly. But we'll roll with it. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Huh. Let me take care of it! I feel like I just got ripped off, you guys. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Maybe I misremembered. Let's report this to Wesker. Man, I popped his head in the other room. I don't like not having zombies with their head pop. Better report back to Wesker. Barry, do you have... Wow, my boobs jiggle. I thought I saw that while she was running, but I was like, nah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Barry, can you help me out? I'm feeling kind of hurt. You see me holding my hip there. Um, I got bit in the hip. I would really appreciate some sort of medicine. Maybe you have, like, herbs or something. Some weird sort of home remedy I can apply to myself. No? I'll cut you. Motherfucker. This main room here is, uh... Wesker! What I kind of based... Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. My Good dining idea. room on. Ooh, achievement. Woo! Um, is what I based my achievement on for... Not achievement. My, my dining room area on the Harvest Block server. Oh yeah, you want me to run through here? Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. You know what, guys? While I'm standing here, just, just hear me out. One two, three. That's for something I'll need later. Alright, now I'm a little bit nervous about this room. What, how do I, hey, no, that's how I climb, how do I pull? every button I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, wait. Do I push and then pull? No. Hmm. That's my only option is climbing up there. Wow, you guys, this game is beating me with, like, easy stuff. So I pushed it into a corner. Maybe I can't pull it. Maybe I can climb down on the other side. Let's try it. That is exactly what I can do. No, 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 no. We don't want to go down there just yet. Actually, I think I'm out of luck as far as grabbing that thing goes. I was so scared to go down this room because that 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 table right here looks like a head like covered up. 
Yes. Using defense items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and then select the item from the defensive menu. Then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the controller settings, you must press LB to use the defensive item. That's kind of cool. I might make use of that later. Digger is already equipped. Nothing else. Ah. Man, Jill is kind of small. Stab him in his face. We're not going to play games with this guy. It's time for us to leave. I'm going to try something real quick. Just... I hear him walking. Yeah, there he is. I'm playing with the controls. Alright, so you're having some issues. Is it fair? I don't know. Where yeah, the music stopped? And you don't get anything for hitting them. I don't remember what's in there. I think it's like a map, but I can't grab it because I was dumb. Hoping the puzzle reset itself. Yes, okay. Good. There's still a body on the floor. That's always good news when you kill a zombie, is the body is still on the floor. Alright. There's a map with a match on first floor. Hell yeah! Oh, I love maps. You guys don't even know. I think I've I think I've played games where I've told you guys how I love maps. I'm pretty sure this door is locked or something. Yeah. But if I do that, it'll show up on my map that well, actually this map already shows what doors are locked and which ones aren't. That's interesting. Usually you have to figure it out yourself. Ooh, it's getting dark outside. Alright, let me go tell Barry about the, uh... The room and the zombie and the dagger that I don't have anymore. Barry, where are you? Not just yet. I know I need that emblem eventually, but I don't know when or where, so I'm not going to let it clutter my inventory. Let me... Uh, his body's gone. If he's up here, I'm going to be pretty upset. Kenneth! No, Kenneth! Why? I can't believe they killed Kenneth! Those bastards. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Alright. Any good books? Nope. Let's check that map. Am I heading in a good direction? Uh, it's open over here. windows in this game. We're shifting shadows. Hell yeah! Green herbs. There's a body on the floor. Why 
while I wait. This is the fast way to reload your weapon. You don't want to be standing there putting a magazine in your gun when zombies are walking at you. I'm just going to go stand by this body and see what it... Instant death. Let's go with that. Are those chains on the wall? What the fuck? I, I can see this in a basement or an attic or a dedicated room. This is like a hallway. It's like, man, you want to go upstairs, you got to walk past these chains. Also, what's with this birdcage? A large birdcage. There's a dead raven inside. Right, the ravens. There's an open window. about that. I hear walking. Alright. I'm only doing this because I'm hurting so bad. Ah, I still feel like that's taking a little bit quick. That uh, walking sounds like it's getting really close to me, and I'm not happy about it. That guy's got a shield. No, no, no. That thing's on a track. I, I feel like I'm not prepared for whatever is ahead. Resident Evil, um, if you guys are familiar with like 4 and up, so 4, 5, 6, uh, Revelations, Raccoon City, pretty much all of those, um, it's much different from the first two or three games. I don't know that I've played Resident Evil 3. Um, the newer ones are a lot more action than survival horror. Like, this, in this, ammo is scarce, weapons do less damage, um, it's, it's a whole nother experience. Let me check my map real quick. I'm gonna head up these stairs over here. Are any of these unlocked? It does save a little bit of time at telling me about things. This is going to a basement. I was hoping that these were not going down. A sword, huh? Okay, so aside from that first zombie fight where there's now no body on the floor because of the story, I think we're doing all right. My headphones just died. I'm utilizing my turtle beaches to listen to the game. And they sometimes just turn off. And then refuse to turn back on. Anyway, I'm going to end it for this episode, you guys. Let me show you what those typewriter ribbons are for if you're not familiar. There we go. All the stuff we've done this episode has been saved. Alright you guys, thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.